When out helmet shopping, there's one question that always comes up. What's the difference between polycarbonate, fiberglass, and carbon helmets? Which is the safest and which is the most comfortable? We'll set out to answer these questions right now. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and what shell material is the best or preferable in certain situations has always been an incredibly tough question to answer. All you need to do is see how many crash tests there are out on YouTube right now, and how many views they have. And though this is certainly the most important aspect of a motorcycle helmet, and we'll touch on this as well, we also wanted to go a bit further to see if there's any difference in riding comfort if we collect all our road test results. Before we go further, just a quick reminder to subscribe and check out the rest of our YouTube channel, where we review and road test the latest motorcycle helmets and riding gear. As far as safety goes, all three materials will be safe. A thermoplastic or polycarbonate helmet, like for example the Shark Evo 1 II, can get to the 4 to 5 star range from Sharp just as well as any other fiberglass or carbon fiber helmet. In this case, it got 4 stars, which is very good. The main difference for safety is the helmet's weight and the material's behavior in an impact. Polycarbonate is more susceptible to abrasion, so you will need more of it to provide an adequate level of protection. So, as a result, you'll end up with a heavier helmet. But with fiberglass, you're getting a stronger material that, alongside composites like this Arai RX-7V, will be a lot more flexible in its impact absorption. So in that sense, it will be lighter than a polycarbonate helmet, but it will also be slightly more brill in an impact. Last we come to carbon fiber with the Sport Modular, for example, which you generally see in any top range helmet. That's because it's even stronger than fiberglass, which again means you get an even lighter helmet. However, it is a bit more brittle than fiberglass and composite helmets. Generally, the same order of polycarbonate, fiberglass, composite, and car carbon fiber is the same for the safest gel materials if you look at Sharp. However, since helmet safety is much more complicated than a simple yes or no, the best thing to do in this case is make sure you're buying a quality helmet whether you go for polycarbonate or carbon, make sure it is ECE or DOT rated, and you can also check out Snell and Sharp for a second opinion, which is also always a good idea. Also look at what material is specifically used since you have different levels within each category. For example, the Lexan polycarbonate that Nolan uses in their helmets will do better than ordinary polycarbonate, and so on. We have received questions over the difference between the shell materials in terms of how they do on the road and how well they stop noise. We were curious too, so we went back to our road test results and crunched the numbers. Just as a reminder, we conducted all our tests on the same bike, traveling at about 130 km per hour, or about 80 miles per hour on the highway. For our measurements, we used a decibel meter placed in the ear of the helmet, a thermometer placed in the EPS liner's grooves, and an anemometer mounted on the bike for the day's airspeed. We've taken our data from 49 helmet tests from brands including AGV, Arai, Schubert, Shoei, Nolan, x -Lite, Shark, Iro, and Schubert. For the purpose of categorization, we included Shoei and Arai with our fiberglass category, but you can expect them to do better than ordinary fiberglass since they are actually a composite material. When we looked at all our helmets together, we were not particularly surprised with the results. We're mainly focusing on weight and noise reduction here, so ultimately polycarbonate as the worst material for both weight and noise since it earned three and two and a half stars respectively. The interesting thing is that fiberglass and carbon fiber helmets actually earned the same three stars for noise, and there was a half star difference for weight. So that's four stars for fiberglass and four and a half for carbon fiber. These results aren't very surprising for a number of reasons. First, this is simply the nature of the helmets we were able to test. Most polycarbonate helmets are going to be more budget and will have less going into them in terms of comforts like weight and noise isolation than, for example, fiberglass or carbon fiber helmets. You can see this reflected in the other categories, like ventilation and comfort as well, which are also slightly lower. And when you get up to the higher helmet range, so much goes into making these helmets quiet that you actually end up at about the same noise level. For weight, there is also what you'd expect. Polycarbonate is heavier than fiberglass, and fiberglass is heavier than carbon fiber. The only thing to keep in mind with weight is that, depending on the helmet, you may also find that you experience a bit more buffeting with a lighter helmet, for example, with a carbon fiber one. So, to summarize briefly, polycarbonate helmets will be more ex inexpensive since the manufacturing process is much less intensive. As a result, you often get a good variety of graphics, and the material itself is strong in low speed impacts since it's less rigid and can disperse energy across the shell. The downsides of polycarbonate will be its higher weight since you do need more of the material to get a safe shell, 
And since this is also the material of choice for budget helmets, this also means you'll only get budget features. And as a related point, it will also generally be a noisier helmet. For fiberglass, the pros are that it is lighter than polycarbonate, not as rigid as carbon fiber, so it can still disperse some of the impact, though not as well as polycarbonate. It will also be much less expensive than carbon fiber thanks to a less intensive manufacturing process. The cons of fiberglass are that it is less rigid than carbon fiber, not as good as dispersing energy across the helmet shell. Lastly, they'll have a higher price than a polycarbonate helmet. For carbon fiber, the main pros are its high rigidity, which is why you mainly see it in sports applications, its very lightweight, and its performance in high speed impacts. However, its cons are that it is less durable in an impact since it does have this higher rigidity, so you'll definitely see the signs of any impact on the helmet. Carbon fiber helmets also generally come at a much higher price, and since the carbon fiber skin is generally so sought after, you also usually get fewer graphics. If you'd like to purchase a new motorcycle helmet, make sure to head to championhelmets.com where we have the lowest price guarantee and great bundle deals with all our helmets, including a free additional visor or a discounted communication system. In the end, we more or less see how the conventional wisdom has remained just that. The weight results for these helmets were to be expected, and once you get to the premium fiberglass and carbon fiber helmets, companies will put the extra effort in to compensate for additional noise. For safety, it really depends on a case-by-case -case basis, since some polycarbonate helmets can have just as many sharp stars as a full carbon fiber one, even though these helmets tend to be safer. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and let us know your thoughts down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.